Thank you to all there in attendance at the 2012 National Labor Notes Conference and all members of the Great Labor Notes Extended Collective. Labor Notes has been a special and constant companion to the work I've been called to do over the years. The journey has been bumpy, and the struggle for justice and working class dignity never takes a holiday. As an old civil rights veteran told me once in the 1960s regarding our class and racist enemies, always remember, son, they be scheming while you be dreaming. It was true then, and no less true today. The enemy of the working class is relentless. We have to be no less relentless in our response and strategic. Beware of the false prophets within our ranks who call for accommodation and appeasement as an answer. Our ultimate strength is organization of our members and the collective deployment of them strategically and tactically. An informed and well-organized rank and file is at the center of every victorious struggle. I have an uncompromising faith in the rank and file's capacity to respond when the truth is shared and a two-way flow of strategic and tactical options are offered the base and those entrusted with the stewardship of the collective. Our ability to sustain and win the struggles we face, great and small, flow from that organic reality. My years in labor bargaining and community struggles has affirmed that the best fightbacks are organized horizontally with genuine member and constituent participation at all levels of conflict. Capital's awesome strength is employed vertically. A small set of robber barons calling the shots. No struggle once joined by workers somewhere is insignificant. It becomes a secondary property to all of us in the working class. All too often activists and keen strategists relegate themselves to work in what they decide is their own respective silos of engagement and a host of other battles suffer for the absence of their tactical dexterity and ability to broaden the call to arms. We win when we build a social movement. The task seems much clearer today than at any time in the recent past. Much more work at the barricades needs to be done. Those of you who list labor notes among your battle stations and identify the growing army of leaders we've been looking for as shock troops are heeding the call to action. Capital's incessant colonnades can be spiked and their place in history retired, but only if we tell the proverbial truth to power and to each other. If we bring our collective might to the task of securing true solidarity, accountability, and democracy, that is the new direction, a struggle worthy of the next generations. Thank you and carry on in solidarity. I think so.